Hey gang, Diana here today. Uh, welcome to my studio. And I'm getting ready to make a book with some leftover papers. And by leftover, I don't actually mean leftover, but these are papers that I made to make a book. And they're a lot of jelly print papers that I made in another video. And I'll link that up in the corner in the card. So. I am just, I'm going through and picking out some paper. So I'm going to put this to the side. This is sort of the normal size, large papers. But I have a lot of scrap papers here too. Small pieces, leftover pieces, that, that kind of thing. And um, I put a few pieces together. I've actually cut down. Uh, the piece that I was working on again in the live stream I'll link up there a of paper so anyway I have been usually when I would make a book when I make a book I stack all the papers that are going to be in a signature up and I fold them as one but in this case since uh, so many of the books are weird little sizes I'm going to let me just see about what the size is on this I think it's about 10 it's close to 10. Okay, so I will be scoring these um, with my bone folder. I, I usually just use this groove in uh, the paper trimmer. Or maybe you have a scoreboard and fold away from the score. The reason I'm doing it this way is so that uh, just in case the paper is the uh, grain of the paper is going another way. I, I shouldn't get much cracking. This is that Nina Solar White 80 pound paper that I used for this. And there is a grain on it. I have about, I think there's like six pages in each of these signatures. And I'm just sort of juggling together things. They're not completely squared up. And uh, that's okay. It do not, doesn't bother me any. I'm just going to attach them with some clips, top and bottom. Um, and I do want to show you something. Because I folded them separately, I hope that you can see that the folds are not, it's not nestling together the way it would. So this is not the best way to fold. But I would usually get a signature and fold it all together and bone fold it well. But that's okay. This is a casual thing and I'm not worried about it. So the next thing I'm going to do is collect some of these smaller papers that I have that um, have just been kind of hanging around. Some of these I would definitely score um, using, once again, a scoreboard or... Um, some other tool because they might crack so I've gone ahead and scored some of these and I'll like this one this I'm going to show you that the the grain of the paper is that that it's harder to to bend it that way than it is that way so this should really be bent this way but I'm going to bend it that way using a tool and then I'll just start to nestle things in here I'm going to just use a little glue stick to uh, just lightly to nestle these in here so they don't shift too much as I am building these signatures up just for these smaller papers you don't have to worry about that for the larger papers so I might put one in there I might put one in here and just keep building. I have quite a stash here of stuff that I, I guess you wouldn't call this a junk journal. I guess you would call it a, well, I'm calling it a jelly plate journal, sort of. <laughs> hey, if you come up with a good name, let me know, will you? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to continue building my signatures. I have two of these folded nicely at this point. Let me just show you a couple tips about folding, um, especially a book like this that you haven't folded as a signal, as a single signature. 
So I'm just sort of jamming as much as I can, jamming that in there. Um, sort of forcing to some degree the paper in there. Using, uh, as I call it, boss the paper around. And remember these smaller pieces should be just lightly tapped, tap glued in there. And I'm just going to add a couple of clips to this and push it in again via paper boss. Okay. Now, once I get this closed, since this is pretty thick, I'm going to go ahead and really bone fold it and do this sort of fake spine here. I think this will probably have to be weighted because it's not, um, it's all springing open, but that's okay. I will weight it my paper scraps on it or maybe something this would probably be better well that's heavy my watercolors and set that aside and in the next video I'm going to bind and I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do but I, pr I might turn to Keith Smith if you're not familiar with Keith Smith <laughs> <laughs> he is an amazing bookbinder, but man, is it are his bindings dense to try to learn from a book. But I have mastered a bunch of them, especially in this book, one, two, and three section bindings, especially in um, sections one and two. I've actually don't know. I think I've done a couple in section three, but. Cool. Super cool. But anyway, we'll see what I come back with. It might be something more like Tacket. I'm not sure yet. It's going to be uh, something that I can easily show and share with you. Okay, see you soon. Don't forget to like um, that thumbs up and subscribe and head over to my blog for more information and comment. I love to hear your comments. Maybe maybe somebody out there has a good idea for a three-section open binding. See you soon!